it's hard to drive a block down McHenry Avenue in Modesto without passing signs for a relaxing massage. There are some really good people here that are actually providing us a service that is needed for the community. Billy Anderson owns a business a few doors down from a massage parlor. I have nothing but, but love for these people. They, they've been great. But others he's seen driving home at night don't seem as legitimate. The outfits that you see some of the employees walking in that you're just like, that is not what a massage parlor should be, be having. In an effort to crack down on parlors that serve as fronts for prostitution and human trafficking, the city of Modesto halted new massage businesses from opening and current ones from expanding or relocating. Eight months later, officials have voted to lift that ban and introduce an updated massage parlor ordinance. A series of regulations that prostitution rings don't want to follow, but that legitimate massage therapists so I've been more than happy to comply with. Among the biggest changes, people who run a massage business will need to pass a criminal background check and get a permit from Modesto Police. The ordinance also says that no massage parlor will be open or provide massages between the hours of 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. Legitimate massage practitioners don't want to practice in the middle of the night. They, they're perfectly happy to use sterile linens and do that sort of thing. The community hopes new rules will prevent illegal businesses from forming in Modesto. Hopefully they are um, enforced enough that those types of bad businesses that I was speaking about uh, will be, you know, kind of held out and the, the good businesses that actually provide a needed service for, uh, for individuals will be able to excel and uh, continue to grow. This vote was just the first phase. The ordinance must still get adopted and if it does, it will go into effect in 30 days. In Modesto, Natalie Brunel, KCRA 3 News.